Hi guys, Lava175 here, aka Shannon, and I'm here with another white care report from yours truly. And as you know, it's April, which may not be because tomorrow will be May by the time you finish watching this webcam report, the next day or maybe. But anyway, April is the time for Easter, Earth Day, and of course, Anniversary, which is actually my anniversary because... Today's webcam report is actually my third webcam anniversary because the first one I made is back in 2011 and my first webcam report is actually about the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge wedding. Oh, and Kate's unfair rules. So if you check, so if you go on my channel, you might find my first webcam report. Just check it out. If not, I'll put in the annotations, I think, if I know how to use it in the process. So, anyway, how about I start our third webcam report with some news. So, without further ado, for three years, I'll get started. A gunman who was a soldier at Fort Hood, Texas, shot 20 people before he took his own life. He was known as an Iraq War veteran and was assigned to the 13th Sustainment in Command. The reason for this shooting is because he was suffering from PTSD, also known as Post Traumatic Stress Disorder at the time, and had an argument with one of the soldiers. He wanted to take care of him once and for all. Four of them died, including the gunman himself, and 60 of them were wounded. This incident was similar back in 2009 when a gunman shot more than 30 people. 13 of them died at the time. Sometimes when the Duke and Duchess makes an appearance in London, England, no matter if it's a charity event, a sporting event, a grand opening of a new business in honor of them, or just a family outing, they bring Prince George for everyone to see. And now, Australia and New Zealand are getting ready for the royal family's appearance because the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are going on a trip down under, and they're taking baby George with them, the same way Princess Diana took William and later Prince Harry along on their trip. Their first stop is in New Zealand, where the Duke and Duchess came out of the airplane in style. All eyes were on Prince George as they walked along the NC streets, visiting many people as they passed by. They even made new friends along the way and had a play date on a Wednesday. Other times, the Duke and Duchess go on dates and dinner parties and make sure that Prince George was in the care of his nanny and even pay respect to the people in Dainda and Christchurch. Their next stop on their tour is Australia, where they greeted with more people and showered Prince George with gifts and adornment. They even went to the zoo on Easter Sunday to see a bill be named after him, but he wriggled around from the hands of his mom and dad, wanting off, and even threw a bill be down on the ground, which is a toy bill be, thinking that he had enough toy animals for a while. Typical baby. Typical baby act. Other stops include visiting the army and military, which Duchess Kate climbed on a fighter jet with class, visited Canberra, the Australian capital, and went to the Northern Territory to see Uluru, also known as the Ayers Rock. They also had their pictures taken behind the Ayers Rock, the same as the late Princess Diana took with her husband. It is unknown if the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will spend their third wedding anniversary in Australia, but the trip down under is the best family trip it ever had. And just to update, after their trip in Australia, they went back home to. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. As I was saying, they went back home to the UK to celebrate their third wedding anniversary, so. As I say, Downton is the best family trip they ever had, and that's a good thing. 
On April 15, 2013, one bomb went off near the finish line at the Boston Marathon, leaving a lot of runners wounded. Twelve minutes later, a second bomb went off a little further from the finish line, leaving more people wounded. Twelve people died from the bombing, while the rest were badly injured. The bombers were conducted by two men who were brothers. One brother shot his own before he hid himself in the boat, where he was later caught by law officials. One year later, the people of Boston never forget this tragic day and how everyone worked together to help other people out. The anniversary started out with an invitation-only ceremony with lots of guest speakers and songs. A hope and encouragement. Vice President Joe Biden appeared as well. After the ceremony, they all went out to the very same spot where the first bomb went off. It was a cold and rainy day as everyone stood for a moment of silence. After their moment of silence, the bells ringed out from the church and the flag rose high in the air, knowing to saying to everyone that they're okay. And last but certainly not least, a teen boy climbed over the fence and into the tarmac where the plane was set for a long flight to Hawaii. As the plane started to take off, the boy climbed inside the compartment where the wheels are located. The wheels rose up from the compartment, closed shut, trapping the boy inside. The inside of the compartment was really cold that he went into hibernation while the plane would travel for eight and a half hours. And that's a really long flight. Finally, the plane landed in Hawaii and the boy got out without any injuries. However, the boy was sent to the hospital to test to see if he's well. No one know why the boy ever survived that long flight inside the wheels compartment. If I can call the wheels compartment for some reason. The reason why the boy climbed over the fence in the first place is because of the argument with his parents. And that's it for my third anniversary of Shanna's webcam report. So, what do you think about my webcam report? If you would like, please leave a comment down below. I will not accept any bad comments and I will block all trolls. Don't forget to like me, subscribe me, or visit my and visit Twitter and Facebook down below where I always be. Well, that's it for me. So, until then, I'm LaVava175, aka Shanna, and I hope that I have many, 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 many more webcams report to go. I don't know how long. Was it three years I made my webcam report? So, of course I will make many 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 more to tell you all about the things that's happening around the world. So I guess the world never ends. So until then, see you later.